I'd like to start off by asking you a question. What is consciousness? For some, it's as simple as being able to think. For others, it's simply the ability to interpret electrical signals firing off in the brain. Yet further still, there are some people who believe that consciousness is the ability to reference millions of past experiences to build up your own reality. I think Soma is really going to be about exploring the themes of consciousness and reality. What do they mean to you? How do you interpret thoughts? How do you interpret feelings? Before we begin, I'd like to say that I think it's very important that we set the vibe. So, I'd advise you to turn off your lights, put on your headphones, turn up the volume, and just let yourself go. I really believe that Soma is going to be a slow burn. Uh, there'll be an intricate story to put together through found documents, emails, recordings, and I really plan to explore as much of that as I possibly can. Hopefully by the end we'll be able to come closer to answering the question, what is consciousness? My name is Chris Farad and this is Soma by Frictional Games. That's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. So it sounds like there's been a bit of an accident, and we're going to get a brain scan, but in order to make it the most effective, we're going to have to take this tracer fluid. So uh, before we just run into the doctor's office. Let's check out our place Where here. Put the tracer fluid? We'll find it. To open doors and containers, first interact with them and pull on the mouse. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking that pretty in there. That's for sure. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? I don't imagine it's just gonna be in a drawer. Probably, if that's the bathroom, it's probably gonna be in there, but... What do we have here? Robin McConnell, a book called Hooked. View text. Okay. Mark and Dan and Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take their family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying, Hooked will pull you in. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? It's definitely Anyhow, this weekend. Shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Oh, maybe our memory's not so good either. We can throw these things? Okay. Love you, miss you, mean it. I wonder what that's all about. Got a camera. 
We like to read, that's for sure. Neurograph session. So this is from Munchie, the guy that called. Thank you for thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, Munchie. All right. New prescription from Aaron Peake. Uh, Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the next, or over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I will see you next week. So perhaps the accident, like we woke up, we, we, uh, we were, it was jarring once we got out of bed. So maybe that was just a dream. Maybe it's, we're re-experiencing an event from past. Jesse the Grimoire. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Uh-oh. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I am not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store and actually unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. <laughs> Good luck, you'll need it. Let's send it. There we go. Better late than never. Well, is it? Oops. Okay, so what is this? Little, uh, sketch pad? Does that say convention? 7 to 12? Okay. Get well soon, love mom. I have to imagine that the... the accident was a real thing that occur that occurred. Grimoire. That must be the name of the bookstore. As referenced in the email as well. Aaron Peak. Gadgetan755. So this is... A prescription. Oh no, this is for the tracer fluid. That's what that is. Okay. Grimoire presents Robin McConnell. Meet and greet book signing. And... Our feet on the beach. Downtown accident kills young woman. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. These are real streets in Toronto, by the way. Uh, the mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. Less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffered and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived by... Not sure. Um, or survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has pr probably has not been released by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. So, wow, okay. We lost our friend there. Sounds like she's just a friend, and based on that voicemail that we got, sounds like somebody else might be into us. I'm not sure if we're together or what. Some are blockbusters. Okay. Mapping minds. So maybe we've gotten curious about what's going on inside our own head. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. 
Oh, Thank awesome. you, brain. That's unfortunate. Massive recoil. John Hughes, a cor corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. <laughs> Alright. Wow, we are living in disgusting mess. There's french fries on the ground. Pretty cool posters. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Yeah, agreed. It's nice. What do we all have in here? Okay, so we can hold R to rotate it. Okay. What is this thing? Any? It's like a lotion of some kind? I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Okay. So... I don't see... I don't see what we need to pick up. Maybe it's not in the bathroom as I assumed. Could it be in the kitchen? Let's turn on the lights here. Like, just fast food everywhere. There it is. There it is. Okay, I guess we're just gonna take this down. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Oh, that like coppery blood taste. Well, I think we should probably go. I don't see anything else that we should be hanging around for. Simon Jarrett, McCall Avenue. Grab our keys. Do we need a jacket? No, we're good, I think. To do. Remind Jesse, pick up meds, flowers for funeral. Oh, wait. Do we have, uh... Maybe that just means we have to stop and actually pick up flowers at some point. But I don't think we have any in here. We did send the email to Jesse. So we'll look for flowers later. Did he say nobody works anymore? What I will say is, this does not look like the terminal's in Toronto. Oh god, he's gonna be mad. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got oh, you covered. Oh, cool. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. No I'm sweating. I got Matt and Chris helped me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well... Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, jeez. Good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Won't find me in a phone booth. 
No, I won't find you in a phone booth. That's right. Dr. Munchie? Whoa. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. He did say that we were we were guests here or something, right? That's right, Canada. Okay, Paul Berg from Munchy Scan Now. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Yeah, I'm pretty nosy, but it is what it is. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use the computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. Thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peak will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Okay. So that was on the 27th. This is on the 2nd. It sounds like these guys are new at this stuff, which is making me a little bit uncomfortable. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mail or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay. Do we have a note anywhere? Trial and error. Put the scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity, that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David, uh, David Munchie, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. Oh, okay, so David Munchie's a computer science student. Okay. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise therapy and light medication. Or light medication. But Munchie and Berg are not looking for a miraculous penise. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that correctly. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima Neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. That's cool. It is not, uh, sorry. It is not a long forecast. It's about milliseconds. But with the right computer model, Berg and Munchie can then administer all kinds of treatment without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We're able to fail treating you. We're able to fail treating you a million times over only to find the right way. And when they do find that optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from Pace Laboratories, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We're very fortunate to get all this support, says Berg. Now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work. Okay, cool. What do we got here? Page 56. Moment def, tweak for right length. Is that 20 to 30 milliseconds is blurry, 10 milliseconds, probably can't read what that says. Improved reverse projector technique, 2501, that's probably the code. All right. Biometrics, rooms, 361 to 360. This is the place, right? It must be. Hey, just on time. Let's just call Munchie real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. We have the code, right? 
2501. What was that? We can run. Monday James. Okay. I just feel the need to touch and get my fingerprints on everything. <laughs> What do we got going on here? We've got needles, we've got... what is this? Jaws? <laughs> Oops. This must be some... okay, the scan's in progress. Different brain scans. That's cool. Now, there's some things that we can grab, right? We can take a look at them. This camera lens, cool. The nervous system. All right. Pace Laboratories, 364. Hey, here's somebody. Oh, hi. That's Munchie. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Yeah, Dr. that's us. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you, uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about what we're going to be doing here? So, what yeah. exactly are we doing? <laughs> Good. We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Might be funny to you. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? If things are sure. as bad... Let's get started. ...as we've been Take led to believe, then... ...we really have nothing to lose in this scenario. Alright. Well, it sounds like by... ...kind of taking a... ...quote-unquote computer model of our brain... ...they're gonna be Please, able to... They're going to be able to run all these simulations without having to use real drugs to to try and help us. And then once they find the optimal treatment, um, we should be either cured or we can at least uh, suffer Just have less. Just we'll be out of here in no time. Just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. 
Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. That's a little bit more than a picture, I think. What happened? Hello? Uh... Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Definitely didn't go right. This isn't funny. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... Stressful situations. This is kind of stressing me out. Hey! Anyone? What the hell happened here? I mean, sure, we have the bright red- Whoa, what? Now, I have to assume... Service console. Omni-tool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni-tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Okay. How did I get here? <laughs> okay. Now, I want to believe that this is just a simulation based on him putting that helmet on us. Look at there's blood. Unlock terminal from service console. We're going to need an Omni-Tool to access it. Where do I get an Omni-Tool? Do we have an Omni tool over here, maybe? Jesus. Okay, so let's put this through here. Where the hell are we? What is this? Oh, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp set. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. 
Of course, me. I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? Also, what was that? Oh, what is this, this like, sludge? Whoa. Okay, so these data buffer available is we can read into something, but we don't know exactly who those people are. What is happening to us here? I don't know why that arm freaked me out that much. Whoa. What's causing that? Is it these things? Oh, Jesus! Wow. Yep. Yep, okay. It's like triggering our stress or something. The Pathos 2. Upsilon. That's where we are. Not so much. Whoa. So it's, what is that noise? It's gone. thing is alive what I was trying to say is that it's not just the panels on the wall that trigger those events it's anything it's like we can I'm guessing we're interpreting something from its past that's been embedded somehow Look at this. 
What is going on here? Oh, Jesus. Chance of being noticed by whom? What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Be cool, be cool. I don't know what triggers that. Whoa! What is that? going on in here let me just check this other side here the side was all locked out okay hold on more of this sludge. I don't even know if that's the right way to describe it. Here's an Omni tool. Okay. Tab to see your inventory. It's not doing anything right now. Okay, the Omnitool version 2.5 is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the Omnitool will automatically adapt its programs to uncover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omnitool has a short-range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors. While performing complex operations, the Omnitool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C11-21 to connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omnitool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of toolchip models, including, but not limited to, A1, A2, and HATE. Oh, and JUICY. Okay. Smart access computer. I don't really want any of that on me, if possible. Look at this. The head's right off. So the Omni tool is the only thing in our inventory. <laughs> oh 
Holy shit. What was that? Everything's locked. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god. Swipe Omni Tool, let's go. AI Helper Jane. Error, what? Okay. We probably have to take it back to that workbench. Yeah, I heard that. That's about enough. That's where it came from. I say we close this. Yeah, chip installer. Let's do it. up to three, including pilot seat activated. Pilot seat? System status. Remote access denied. Service offline. Main power suspended. Program unreliable. Denied. Emergency system 13 days remaining. I don't know what this is. Three progress. Scan. Upsilon. Theta cache. Graphs. Legacy. Simon Jarrett, okay, terminal scan, authorized by David Munchie, 2015, version 1, Toronto. Okay, so this is, I think, telling me that we're inside his, I don't know if it's like a simulation. Okay, manage the tool chip. Welcome back, Luis Miron. Okay, that must be the person who owned the Omni tool. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. To continue using your des designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run update. But we do not have a tool chip. Cortex chip. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, not fitted with a Cortex chip. You're currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper, Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. It's like a firmware, I guess. Unlock toolbox. Orientation. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't wanna hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. 
Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Okay, John. Thank you. Check the inventory. Basic ductile suits, one to six. Uh, BDS, so that must be those suits that we saw. Number one is okay, okay, unknown contamination, okay, in use, in use. All Hematsu power suits stored at Omicron. So, suits five and six could be from that Azaro and Semkin, possibly. The two that we s witnessed the conversation from before. Okay. Now before- whoa. <laughs> before we update that, I want to check out this computer. Pilot seat number three, Upsilon. In progress. I'm trying to pick up something. I think it said Simon in there somewhere. What the hell? Construct network, Upsilon offline, pilot status, no pilot found, sync pilot black box, no pilot found, connection status, Upsilon offline. Reports. Pilot, Carl Semkin, support, Amy Azaro, vehicle, Tugger 3. Those are the two that we were just talking about. Uh, task, replace heat shield, southern flu, result, success, production restored. Semkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Semkin's symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. Attention. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it in the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the uses of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Jane, Adam Jane Adams, Chief Factor. Okay, let's manage the tool chip. Let's update this. There we go. Tool chip security cipher updated. Okay, we can't access it anymore. Version 2.5, level 3. So I bet you that gets us access. Jeez, could we be any louder? This is a terrible idea. I hate walking under this thing. Oh, wait. Was this gate down before? This 
Sounds like a breathing apparatus. Use the Omni tool. Look at this. Wow. Epsilon's fault it got swarmed with crazy machines. Just somebody's drawings, I guess. What are those, though? It's like a shark, but with, like, metal tentacles. Back and different. Thick structure gel they can't shake. We've heard about this structure gel a few times. W-A-V-S. Freaky fishes. Check the backside here. Like nothing happened, everything still looks the same. All silence alike. Look at that. That's so cool. There's no telling how deep this is. Like, it's the ocean floor, I assume. If it's our ocean, I don't know. I don't think so. It's some ocean somewhere. Break room, tech depot, observation tunnel, storage, service station, machine hangar, thermal plant. Security and observation towers. But these are locked. More of this drip. Wait, what? Who's saying that? Whoa! Stay here. Stay here. What is this? What was that? What is that? It, it doesn't hurt anymore. Wait, what? Uh oh.
Was that thing alive? And are we- are we talking about it doesn't hurt us when we do that, or... Did that just put him out of that agony? That's what I'm thinking. Robot assembly this way. Process cooling. No, we don't. There was just something down here, I swear. feeling very good about being down here right now. <laughs> Is that... something's moving over there. What the... Can you hear me? It's just barely alive. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can confirm its effect on WAU or V. Issue has been reported to SSEU Wolchek. So that must be this stuff that's dripping. Structure gel. That's not helping us. Radio signal block insufficient power. Whoa. He's talking. I was okay, I was happy. And as a machine saying that, you have to wonder. What does that truly mean? Manual boot sequence, S1, S2.
Okay. So only the first one goes. Let's see what happens if it gets into the green here. We'll hit them both in the green, maybe? That seems to have worked. Whoa, oh, Jesus! <laughs> Stations. Lisbon, offline. Cadiz, offline. Delta, offline. Theta, offline. Lambda, online. Oh, what is it? Whoa. What? What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? <sighs> I hear you. Uh, Absalon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you? Oh, just a Whoa. You guys. Where are you now? Uh, 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 someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look. This place is not. A, there's something seriously wrong here. Hello? Are you serious? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay, well, we have a contact. Catherine. At the Lambda location. Turbines are up, comm systems online, doors unlocked. Well... I guess we're going up to the comm system. Whoa, maybe not. Maybe we just stay here and crawl under the desk and die. Maybe that's an option.